Hello, everyone. Thanks for having me. And thanks for taking time for my brief story about friendship. Because it's my first time here at Foston, yeah, shame on me. Um, give me a few seconds to introduce myself. My name is Stefan Duku and I was born in the late 60s. I started doing my first um, IT business in the mid 90s. At this time, we built static HTML websites with, I don't know if you know it, BB Edit or Dreamweaver and tested it with Netscape Gold and such stuff from the early years from the internet. Later on, I, um, I found software, it's called content management systems, and at this time, we are able to build dynamic websites. I tried several um, from this CMS, and after some experience, I had a place to stay, and it's called Drupal. I don't know if you, need, if you know it, Zrupa CMS. Doing stuff with CMS was a time I've realized that contribution to open source is not only contribution in code. It's more about find your place to contribute. Thank you, volunteers, for Foster. I... Um, I was the organizer of the uh, Drupal meetup in Berlin for several years. I was the organizer of um, Linux Tag uh, for a booth from, uh, for Drupal. And later on in 2010, uh, I have maybe too much time. Um, I'm a candidate for um, the member of the board for the German Drupal Association. Today, I work for my own company for development of things, and I'm the president of the CMS Garden. That's enough for me. What is CMS Garden? We started as an initiative, a marketing initiative, for the most active content management systems. And today, we have more than 10 uh, members from different CMS in our CMS Garden Association. Let me, let me re rewind the time a little bit. This was in the mid of the zero years. Um, as I told you before, I was a proud community member of Drupal. And um, I, found a, I found a situation inside the whole, uh, whole of the um, uh, CMSs. We had an inner circle and we had the outer one. We are kind of competitors and this, one, this picture is taken from Linux Tag, I think in 2007 or 8. And we had neighbors from Typo 3, and they had an orange a booth, and we are in blue, and we had the blue balloons. And because uh, the Typo 3 um, community is, um, we stay later on the fair, and we decorated the orange booth with our blue balloons. And then the next morning, we had friends? No, we kicked type of three as well. The feeling of the time, maybe you know it, what I mean. In 2012, a German hosting provider invites, invites us and other different communities to have a joint booth and to spread the word to spread the word about open source on his booth. And if you recognize, we had WordPress between Drupal and Typo3, but we leave this fair as friends. We shared our T-shirts. At the same time. We had a great talk to Wolfgang Frank. Wolfgang Frank is um, the organizer of, uh, of the 
open source park at CBIT. And um, he's a true supporter of the idea of open source. And he invites us to um, have an own booth at CBIT only with a shared, um, shared CMS joint space. And that was a great idea because we want our own booth without a sponsor logo up there. But, but booth at a CBIT, it's more about 50,000 euros. And the content management associations won't spend so much money. So we had to collect money and our idea was to print a book. We called it Garten Fiebel or CMS Gardener's Guide and um, sell, sell ad space inside. 10 minutes. At the end, we got so much money that we can pay for a booth and, um, and rented 10 um, hostel rooms for take over the coast for the ambassadors. We rent an, um, a chef and a conference space. So it's a little bit dark, but we had an 80 square meter um, booth at the Sebet. Every day after the fair, uh, we came together and eat fresh meals, um, making our our uh, day work, and it happens that a Drupal guy looks over the shoulder of a Joomla guy, and they talk about the concepts of the different CMS. And after the CBIT, we had new friends. More than 50,000 euros, eight different CMS, 50 ambassadors, 10,000 from the booklets, <coughs> And one crazy competition, which CMS snores the loudest. In 2013, we founded our CMS Garden Association and decided to rule over. This one here is taken in 2014, bigger, louder. That's about 120 square meters, up to 10,000 from these books, 50 or 60 ambassadors, and many talks to different um, event organizers from other fairs and conferences. At the end of 2014, we had more than 25 events which um, CMS Garden is on site, or was on site. Because of the core team, there's less than 15 active people, we decided, okay, public relations or marketing initiative for the most active um, open source content management systems, check. What else can we do? And um, we, found new, we found new target groups in our, um, uh, at our fairs and events. And um, I have to look what is in English. Federal Office for Information Security um, asked us to help uh, writing the second um, edition from the um, CMS security study. And... Um, we know the guys from Initiative S. It's a um, project in, 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 in Germany uh, for making websites safer. Uh, we, we are invited from World Hosting Days. It's a trade fair for the, um, the biggest trade fair from the world for the hosting industries. And we talked to the target group and we've heard that there is a need for securing um, the CMS outside in the world. So our next focus was to switch to what can we do as 
CMS communities to make the internet a safer place because of um, the missing updates from lazy people who won't update um, their CMS. And we partnered with Echo. Echo, it's, I have to look. Echo is the um, association for the inter internet industry, I think. Um, and we wrote an, um, a grant application um, for Cyvecos. In short, it's um, in long, it's secure websites and content management systems. And we um, was accepted in 2016 from the Federal Ministry for Economic Affairs and Energy. What is Cyvecos or Cyvecos? Three parts. One part is a scanner from outside to look after known, um, known security bugs. Five minutes. Um, the second one is a plugin for, um, for a deeper look from inside the content management system. And the third one is um, a project we call it Hoster Service. Um, you can imagine the Hoster Service. Uh, every time a security update for one of the CMS was released, um, the CBECOS um, gives mod security firewall rules to the hosting, to the, to the hosting partners to um, secure the lazy and not updated CMS. Because it was public money, it's public code. If you are interested in what we're doing with maybe your money, if you're from Germany, then go to GitHub Zivikos. What's next in 2019? At this time, one of our friends from the Joomla world um, is in Chicago on the CMS Security Summit from Google. Heather Burns, um, from the, formerly from the uh, WordPress community, um, is leading a cross CMS um, working group for GDPR. We partnered with CloudFest and built up a hackathon. If you never ever be at CloudFest, it's a great event in March in Europa Park Rust. And um, you can join us at the Internet World at Expo. And at the end of the year, save the date. It's our fifth, fifth, or fourth, I have no idea, maybe the sixth. Um, edition of the CMS Garden Unconference Conference in Essen. For me, it's important that you understand nothing from this could be happen if, if there's only one community. We had to join forces. We have to know and to recognize that we are not a competitor. We are competing each other. We are now friends. And we have the chance, and we had the chance, and we took the chance to be more together. Um, for me, it's important to talk to you here at Fostem because in the last years we only we had our border in our German language, and we want to share the idea of friendship with other countries, other communities, and in other languages. So, I hope you understand the idea. And friend next from me, or the, the competitor next to you, maybe it's your friend.